Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Sikelski and I got a quick Photoshop tutorial for you today. Uh, we're going to be talking about noise reduction um, and how to better noise reduce your photos. So people that know me know that I'm on the endless pursuit of perfecting my photos and one of those hurdles you just have to get by is going to be noise, especially when you're shooting night in astrophotography at those higher ISOs. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, this image here is a single frame from a much larger panoramic um, that I was shooting up on Four Peaks in Arizona. So this was shot on my Canon 6D with a 50 millimeter lens. I was shooting 13 seconds at f3.5 ISO 10,000. So with that high ISO at ISO 10,000, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and you'll be able to see pretty clearly on your screen that there's going to be a lot of contrast or luminance noise and especially color noise shooting at those higher ISOs. So I'm going to show you my way of better isolating the darks from the lights and to better noise reduce especially those darker areas. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to first duplicate uh, the background layer you don't have to, that's just something I do. And we're going to just immediately start off with using your favorite noise reduction software. Mine just happens to be the Google NIC Define. And so once that is up, uh, we are going to, for the most part, let Google decide um, what kind of noise reduction is going to be best in here. So I'm going to bring all of the uh, points down into the darks and we are going to click measure noise. So the automatic profile has already been added and we'll just click OK. So what this is going to do, it's going to noise reduce your photo based on those automatic settings. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and as you can tell it does a really good job of removing that color noise especially. Now um, in the darks here we are losing a lot of detail and basically what we're going to try to do is we're going to say thank you Google for that data uh, but we don't want to use all of it. So what we're going to do for that, um, before we get started I'm going to create two separate layers from this noise reduced layer and I'm just going to change this to a reference copy and this top one is going to be for our sky so when we attack that and I'm just gonna hide those for now now on our noise reduce layer I am going to change the blend mode to darken so we're taking what Google gave us and we're saying just take that noise that you found and darken it instead of apply it to the entire image and as you can see um, it did affect our sky a little bit uh, we're starting to get a little bit of black dots here and there um, not something that I would live with so what we're gonna do is apply a luminosity mask and I like to use Jimmy McIntyre's Raya Pro it's super super easy I just go to create darks under the blend tab and it's going to automatically create our luminosity masks. If you do not know how to create luminosity masks, just go do a quick uh, search on Google or YouTube, and uh, there's tons of tutorials that'll take you step by step. And even some photographers offer some free actions for you that are similar to this. So we're going to go ahead and find the best luminosity mask um, that is going to mask out some of that sky. So I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, I think it's masking out most of the sky. I'm not minding that little bit here and there. So I'm going to hold control and click that. And we're going to go back to our layer. And it's going to show you the marching ants of what it's going to be masking out. And then you go down here to the mask icon. And it's going to automatically apply that layer mask. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this, show you what it's doing here, and enable. So as you can see, we have a much better noise reduced photo in the darks only. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and on with our original and after. 
Now just for reference, I am going to show you what Google thought it should be. So as you can see, off, on, less noise, less detail. However, um, when we took the data and applied our own, uh, we have virtually no noise in the darks. However, we are retaining a lot of that special detail that we're really looking for. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove that reference layer. We're not going to need it anymore. And I am going to merge these layers. And this is going to be our new base. And I'm just going to call it the base. So this is going to be our base layer. So this is before and after, and we're going to base the sky off this now. So here's our noise reduced sky. And I don't like to do much noise reduction to the sky. I do like to get rid of some of that color noise. Um, so basically, I'm going to do the opposite. I am going to um, go to Rye Pro again. I'm going to delete the darks. We don't need those anymore. And I'm going to create brights now. So this is going to create some bright luminosity masks. And we're going to go to one where we have the sky. Pretty much. I'm not very happy with those luminosity masks, uh, maybe because we have a little bit of an underexposed image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete those brights. I'm going to create darks again. And again, I'm just taking you the step by step of what I would do. And I'm going to go to where probably the same mask as that we had before. Control click that, click the sky, apply the mask, and then I'm going to do a control I to invert the mask. So basically now we're just getting the opposite data of what we had on the ground. It actually works better that way. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and show you that it's just affecting the sky now. However, it's still a little bit much for me. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down the opacity a little bit. Maybe even change the blend modes here. So you can play with this. Um, I highly suggest playing with your blending modes. It's going to really, really change your images for the better. And just looking at it, I kind of like just removing the color. I don't want to remove that luminance noise exactly. So I'm going to maybe change it to 25%, a little bit higher, get rid of some of that color in the sky kind of even it out a little bit maybe even a little bit higher and I can just tell the difference already it's something I could definitely live with especially looking for the greens and the purples in the sky there I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen but turning it off and on it gets rid of that I'm fine with it the little bit of grain I'm completely okay with it keeps that sharpness on the stars and that's it guys that is would be my starting image and now I'd start post-processing so just to conclude I am going to go ahead and merge these layers and do a quick before and after action for you so this is at you know 16 percent before after you can already see a big difference in the uh, noise on especially in the darks there but let's go to 100 percent to see what exactly it's doing here got a little bit of sky a little bit of darks so this is before after before and after before after hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you guys next time